Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little video for you guys about something really silly I found in one of these computers in front of me is a Dell Precision 3530 mobile workstation. And when I got this computer, it was supposed to have two drives in it. Alright, it's supposed to have two drives in it. This is one of the drives in the computer. It's a, I don't know what this is, it's a Kingfast SSD. Um, 512 gigabyte drive, there's the specs. But I noticed the way they installed it was what it was one of the cheapest things I've ever seen uh, I've ever seen someone do to a laptop. One of the cheapest things. And this is not a manufacturing issue. This was a third party seller that installed the drive. Um, to be fair, it does work. The drive is secure, somewhat secure, but the way they installed it, it's kind of silly in my opinion. So I thought I just want to share that with you. Anyways, I'm opening up. So we're gonna open up this computer. And if you notice the different background, that's because I'm currently in another house, in another state. So, traveling abroad right now, but still making videos for you guys. Also, recently I was able to get my hands on these precision screwdriver sets. Game changer for me on laptops because I would use the larger Phillips heads and those would strip, strip the screws many times. All right. So, here you can see this is a SATA connector for the laptop. Now as you can see, you can install up to two um, storage devices here. If you're using a SATA device, you cannot have the M.2 SSD here. This is the current, the main storage drive. But if you were to have a hard drive or solid state drive using the uh, SATA interface, you would have a different bracket here and you wouldn't have this SSD. So the way they did it was they used adhesive to stick the drive, literally stick the drive down, no bolts or anything. And then they would use this connector. Let me demonstrate that for you. Just adjust this camera so I can see. Where did my drive go? So they did was plug the SATA drive in. I did reach out to them and ask them about this. They said that um, they usually don't do this type of work. So, I mean, I guess that's fair. But again, it is one of the, this has got to be one of the shoddiest things I've seen on a laptop. All right, so once it's down, they used, hold on, actually, uh, they literally used double-sided tape, or adhesive, whatever it was. I'm not even joking with you. Um, so I can demonstrate that here. Right? I'm not even kidding with you. We used some kind of adhesive, rubber adhesive. I don't have it on me right now, so I'm just using double this type of tape. But Trust me, they use some kind of rubbery adhesive. It's, it's like, it was like foam. Anyway, as you can see, this is what they did. They put some double-sided adhesive, and what they did, let me re-angle this camera for you guys. Legitimately, they legit just did this. Okay. They did that, and Plugged it into the door. All right. Now the problem with this is, well, basically this laptop has multiple battery sizes. So now if you do it this way, you're stuck at 51 watt hours of battery. Also, you're supposed to have a bracket, excuse my cousins are currently watching football um, or soccer, whatever it is. But, um, 
they literally used adhesive to adhere the SSD to the back panel of the laptop. And what you're supposed to do is get a bracket for it, all right? But if you do get a back bracket, you can't use the M.2 interface. It just doesn't let you do that. But if you want two drives with the SSD, you can get another PCIe solid state drive right here as well with the, in the WWAN slot, the wireless WAN slot. But I believe that's only on non-mobile data enabled systems. In this slot, there's supposed to be a uh, 4G card, a mobile data card, a wireless card for that. But I only have a Wi-Fi card, so I believe you can insert a SSD there. Uh, Dell says you can only do that at the time of purchase, so in the future I might install one there. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, this method actually works. So I guess if you're really cheap, just you know so yeah I just find that it's a pretty silly thing I discovered but will I will I ever do this definitely not you know cause that's I'm probably gonna save this cable but will I if you ask me will I do this in the long run just stick that in there and call a day. Hell no. I will not do that, all right? Don't worry, that SSD is fine. I mean, those things can probably survive a few drops, few drop, like those hard drives. But yeah, and that was something I wanted to share with you guys, but if you do want to get two drives in the computer, just get one of those smaller SSDs that you can slide in there, or get a higher capacity. So yeah, that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Y'all, I'm telling you when I'm actually doing this.